Echo Season 1, Episode 2. Thoughts of this episode, I'm guessing is pronounced Lowak. Again, if I mispronounce, I truly mean no disrespect. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode. Let's dive right in. So, yeah, we start in 1200 AD, and we see this extremely important game played. You know, the, the losers will have to... What was it? They will be banished from the land, something along those lines. And, yeah, we see that, you know, despite... You know, it, it comes very, very close to, to them losing... But she, you know, yeah, she manages to, to overcome it. And that's also what we're seeing in, in Maya herself in the present day. She's had to overcome a lot, but she's not giving up. And, you know, later in the episode, we see her, you know, I guess it is... I mean, it, there's some kind of superpower thing there. I guess her superpower is manifesting, which I'm guessing are like a genetic thing, it appears to me, you know, because of the intense situation that she finds herself in, which, yeah, I'm, I'm really interested in seeing where, where they take this. It's, if I understand correctly, it's different from the, the comics, and honestly... Yeah, it's very MCU to give superpowers to a character that was like, yeah, you know, there's there's something they're really really good at, but you know, no, let's let's make it an actual superpower. I'm not complaining. And the yeah, so yeah, the door alarm is back. That was there was a well, let's see. I guess it was yeah, yeah. I think it's the same it's the same type of alarm as we saw her have in Hawkeye, there it activated as a burglar, burglar alarm. Here it's the alarm for there's someone at the door. But yeah, I quite appreciate that she's still using those. It's not like they failed her in the Hawkeye show. And I quite like that the moment she sees the truck, she's like, I bet that thing can go off-road. You know, immediate... We're, we're really seeing that she is just... Because, because like, Biscuits is immediately like, What do you... No! I can't do that! That's... It's not my car. I'm not good enough behind a wheel. You know, there's... Like, he, he has, like, a list of reasons at the ready. He He's shocked that it's being asked, but he has no difficulty coming up with a lot of reasons really good reasons why that is not at all no i am not taking that thing off road but maya just like the you know because she sees you know yeah the fact that this is not allowed does not really put her off because you know and this is not you know because yeah she's she used to work for the mob. They don't really take into account, is this is this legal? Is this okay? You know, it's just like, well, is it possible? Could we do this? Because, you know, and, and is there some benefit to doing it? And, yeah, you know, she's she's technically accurate. She, she definitely did need for him to take that thing off-road in order for, you know, it would have... Yeah, so the, the, let's see, that gets us to, and yeah, so she, she yeah, I let you, know, he just got back, you know, he's like, oh, here's, here's a bunch of stuff I bought for you, can you go back, you know, she has, she has a shopping list for him, you know, just, yeah, very much, you know, we're seeing this, like, She's not really thinking about much in the world other than this quest for revenge, you know. And let's see, yeah. And then we see Sully trying to, to sell and, you know, ultimately do, managing to actually, did I say Sully? Scully. 
you know, the, the, yeah, <laughs> selling this, this, uh, um, yeah, to, to these tourists, and, you know, they're, they're, yeah, they want to go to this other place, and, you know, Biscuits really comes through pointing out, you know, I mean, that's, like, imported, you know, you could buy something authentic here, but, yeah, it's, you know, it is very much this thing of, today, a lot of these people who have this amazing culture, you know, yeah, they just have to try to convince superficial tourists to buy this stuff that, you know, I mean, essentially priceless. And, you know, they're like, oh, I mean, we have kind of a Southwestern vibe to our play. Just, wow. And, yeah, I like the detail that the, the thing, you know, the, the, I think they said it was a, a rug that the, you know, they could go and, and buy. You know, Biscuits points out that's, imported from Madripoor. You know, they could have chosen a lot of different places, but they specifically said Madripoor. You know, it's, they're seeding that. This is, you know, it was not only mentioned, but actually visited in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier show. This is the second time it's come up at least. I don't, I, off, I don't offhand recall any mentions in between these two. So yeah, they're definitely, they're going to have something more important in Madripoor than they've had so far. You know, there's a lot of places in the MCU that's like, oh, that came up once and then never again. You know, but, like, think about how long it took them to bring back... Uh, I can't believe I'm playing on his name, but yeah, the Sam Rockwell character, the villain from Iron Man 2, you know, what, thir 13 years, I guess, for, for him to return. This is twice in, I guess it's, it's three years, you know, so, yeah, there's, there's something there that I'm really looking forward to seeing it, and, yeah, Biscuits points out it has to be a smaller camera, keeps getting smaller and smaller, that's the one, and, you know, Scully points out, this is like military hardware, you, you realize that I'm selling you, you know, <laughs> yeah, it is quite intense, and yeah, Chula is not happy that Maya to to hear that Maya is back, and goes directly to to Henry, and you know, yeah, the the this thing of you know oh, like you know she's just passing through is. It's, uh, yeah, and yeah, uh, Maya and Biscuits go on the mission. You know, she, she needed transport, so she hops on a train. And we get another brief bit where they cut out the, the audio, and all we can hear is her heartbeat. And... Yeah, uh, Biscuits does indeed go off-road. I feel a little bit like Maya is kind of taking advantage of, of Biscuits. Like, it's not, like, I don't know if he has an actual, like, you know, um, a mental impairment of some kind. He's, it's probably more that he's, like, he's a very innocent person. But, but yeah, you know, she knows, because, because... Let's keep in mind, he was not her first choice. She went to Henry. Henry turned her down. So now she goes, you know, and that's again, that's a, that's like, it's not exclusively like mafia kind of tactic, but it's kind of shady behavior. You know, if, if someone that you, you trust turns you down for something to then go to someone that you know looks up to you, but that you don't necessarily like. I don't. I don't think she particularly likes biscuits very much. She kind of just tolerates him, and she, she, you know, she needs someone to to do these errands for her. So that's what, you know, yeah. And 
yeah, she manages to to get all the way in the you know and and yeah in in the the train car and we don't immediately see we we see a little later what exactly was the yeah and she you know she's she's trying to to make the jump between the two train cars and I like you know they set up early in the episode that looks very dangerous but she does man manage to make the jump and then on the way back yeah she you know and yeah looks like she can't get her foot loose foot loose and yeah the the ancestor um yeah I, I guess she channels her ancestor or something like that i guess we'll find out later but there's definitely a, a connection there and she manages to get free jumps off the train onto the the car very very cool and you know he's like whatever you stole better be worth it and she's like i didn't steal anything and then we see you know yeah she planted a bomb and you know she says she says to henry how are they going to fight me with their armory melted and that's the thing you know that it's like there's a there's a joke about if you know the the um a key ring is a way to enable you to lose all your keys at once. There's a similar thing about an armory. <laughs> you know, if your enemy can indeed sneak an explosive into your armory, yeah, that, you know, because any explosive in there, you know, possibly not all of them, but a lot of them, yeah, they're, they're going to, you know, there's a, there's a chain of reaction there, at least potentially. And yeah, um, you know, we we go to to Henry's like you know, w when did you get the call? Just before you, you got yours 15 minutes ago. I got mine 19 minutes. Ago. You know, everyone is like, what happened? You know, this is not something that, you know, no no one is like shrugging their shoulders at this. Everyone is is. You know, and, and, like, Henry, he doesn't say, you know, this is, no, you know, nothing bad happened here. He says, don't worry, it won't affect you, it'll affect me. You know, the, the, cra the crap from this won't hit you, it'll hit me. And, let's see, yeah, so Maya gets her, her leg fixed by Scully, and... See. Yeah, and I like he, he pats himself on the back for fixing it, and let's see. Yeah, she gets the the text from Henry, and yeah, and <laughs> very funny when Chula sees the the absolute state of the the car. Just yeah. And <laughs> Biscuits gets on the the radio and is like, so I'm selling my PS4, you know, because he needs to be able to afford to fix, you know, grandmother's truck. And <laughs> because Biscuits is not great at this whole, like, lying and keeping secrets thing, he accidentally lets slip to Bonnie, you know, because Bonnie is, like, just concerned. And I also, we don't know very much about her yet. But clearly she's a firefighter, and that's, like, pretty much the exact opposite. I, I mean, I guess she they could have made her, like, a doctor or something. But she's, like, pretty much the opposite of Maya. And let's keep in mind, you know, okay, so Bonnie did not lose. Let's see. Hold on, was... Bonnie? No, no, they were no, they were they're cousins. They're not, they're not actually sisters. Though, you know, Maya used to see it as them being being sisters. Bonnie did not lose her her mother, but she did lose this really close, you know, yeah, a, a cousin she was really close with, and, you know, she didn't end up becoming, you know, a member of the of the mafia. 
and this really shows you know i i quite appreciate when they're when they do these kinds of stories and they're like you know look how bad this person turned out if they can also manage to say but it's not because of you know the fact that maya is you know very moral morally questionable at, at this point in the mcu that has nothing to do with her being a woman being native american you know, having having some some disabilities, you know, Daredevil has some disabilities, he's a good guy, and Bonnie is a Native American woman who had, you know, who, who was also grieving, you know, it was still family, you know, the, it wasn't her own mother, but, you know, that, yeah, a person died that she was related to, that, you know, we didn't see very, we didn't see a huge amount of interaction between them in the first episode, but they seem to get along well, you know, so, yeah, it's, it's not that, oh, you know, women and Native Americans are always going to end up bad, it's, this is the kind of, this is the kind of thing that can happen with a really negative influence, you know, Maya's father was a bad influence, and Fisk is a terrible influence, so yeah and let's but but yeah you know it was it was it was funny because like i'm fine billy jack is fine maya is fine maya maya's back it's you know it's um <clears throat> i'm uh i'm going through a tunnel he didn't say that but that would have been about as ridiculous like oh uh uh, no, I, I can't hear you. He's like, he's like rubbing it on his shirt. Like, wow. Do you think she bought it? If she did, she's uber than ooh. And yeah, um, Henry, you know, from Hen from a certain point of view, Henry feels this is chaos. And Maya says, I started it. I can stop it. That's power. And that's, again, that, you know, yeah, this kind of, that's that kind of thinking. Because, yeah, you know, like, it's, it's, I, I tend to lean on, I think he has more perspective on what's going on. I think he's more well-equipped to tell if this is going to be good for them or bad for them. You know, she's kind of consumed with desire for revenge. You know, and and that's the thing, which I I I believe that's what they're going for here, and I think you know it, and it is accurate. It is psychologically accurate. You know, why isn't she better? She killed, you know, I can't you know, now I don't even remember his name. Um, the the guy, he's great in the comics. He was kind of boring in in the Hawkeye show, Kazi. She killed Kazi. He was part of it. She 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 shot Fisk, and as far as I can tell, yeah, at this point she thinks he's dead, but she's not feeling that much better, you know, because because when you look at her, she doesn't seem more content now than she was before. You know, she used to think, oh, I'll feel better when I take out um, Ronan, you know. She, she ended up not taking him out, but that was because she realized, you know, the, the, yeah, this other connection, and, yeah, she killed the guy who gave the order, she killed the guy who took part, but she's not feeling better, because that's not how it, it, it that's, that's something we think, that the lizard brain tells us you'll feel better if you do something bad to someone who did something bad to you, but, you know, you don't feel better, and, this, you know, I'm not speaking from personal experience, but there have been studies, you know, people, there are first-hand accounts, if someone killed someone you love, and either you kill that person or you see you witness that person die in front of you like you're you're present at the execution does not actually at least for many people does not make them feel better and that's that's kind of what we're seeing here you know she like it wasn't enough for her 
to take out the kingpin, which, again, we the audience know that he survived. She doesn't seem to, it doesn't look like that's particularly common knowledge at this point. So she thinks that she did, you know, yeah, she killed two of the, the people most responsible for her father's death. And it doesn't seem to to really change. So now she's, you know, and, and that's, again, she's doubling down. You know, she's like, well, if it doesn't have, if it doesn't help to, to take out those two people, maybe it's not enough. Maybe I need to, to take out more. And she's trying to fill the hole inside that started when her mother died. Because we, you know, we saw how happy she was before her mother died, and when she was, you know, she got to be around Bonnie, but it's been growing and growing ever since, and yeah, you know, at, at this point, it, she can't, I, I can imagine in later episodes, this will, will change, but at this point in the show, she cannot imagine being happy, feeling fulfilled, without embracing more of this, you know, organized crime world. You know, in episode one, she said, it's time for a queen. You know, she wants, she's started a gang war now. She intends to win it and then rule in Kingpin's stead. I forget who, new rock stars maybe said that would make her a queen pin, which, I don't know, I, it's just a, very cute word there, yeah. And let's see, yeah. And and Henry points out, you sound just like Fisk, you know. And yeah, that's the thing, you know. This is this is Fisk's influence. This is you know, even even after he's dead, because that again, that is something that can really make you feel better if if someone that you trusted betrayed your trust you know it's not yeah their their death is not necessarily going to make you feel any better very very likely it won't something that can really help is trying to change the habits that they you know if if they made you if if they convinced you to do certain things see if you can adjust out of that obviously that's not always going to be necessary that's not always going to be possible but that can really help and that's not where she is right now so yeah this is a very accurate portrayal you know she's she is she's grieving and she's basically trying to use enough violence to make the grief go away and this is something again the lizard brain has this you know, yeah, and you know, gets get some people to to do that sort of thing, and it's you know, we also see like at the very end of the the episode after you know Bonnie sends her a, a text, is clearly very distraught, and yeah, Maya fires her gun, basically trying to reassert control, trying to get rid of the the pain. And, yeah, it's not working. That's, you can't do that like that. Also, yeah, I gotta say, earlier in the episode, when, when Bonnie, you know, glad we're seeing more of Devery Jacobs. I love, I, I sincerely doubt this is gonna be the last, but looking forward, I'm, I really appreciate she's getting more, yeah, um, I, f I forget if I if I mentioned when I did episode one yesterday, I guess. Um, in addition to to acting, she's also writing and directing, you know, to tell Native American stories. It's yeah, really, really. That's exactly how they, you know. I'm I'm really glad that it's not just a bunch of white dudes, you know, distorting their stories, but that they're, at least to an extent, hopefully it'll be even more, 
they're getting to tell their own stories because they have a very rich culture. They have they have a lot of stories to tell. Um, but yeah, absolutely heartbreaking when Bonnie is is like she, she's back in town. Maya's back in town. You know, just because yeah. And I I really look forward to seeing. You know, there's definitely going to be at least one scene where the two of them are in the same place at the same time. And, yeah, you know, because, yeah, here at the, at the very end of the episode, you know, she, she's, yeah, she sends this, this text saying, you know, how could you not tell me that you're, you're back, you know, some, something along those lines. Yeah, um, really, really loving the, the show so far. So, yes, uh, the very next episode I will cover tomorrow. And there we go. Yes. So, yes, really looking forward to, to more of this gritty goodness.